guys. Welcome back to Penton Farms. My name is Rachel. I'm Holly's cousin, by the way. She's come back to film my house for spring, and um, apparently some of you guys wanted to come back, so I, you know, hopefully it is what you're looking for. But um, I own Penton Farms, if you don't know. We have a pumpkin patch, and we also have a strawberry you pick as well, with some nice strawberries. These are Holly's gift. Oh, and I'm so me. excited. I said I'm so glad that you brought out these beautiful strawberries. Yeah. By request of a few of y'all, it's been a lot of y'all like begging. And I told Rachel, I said, you're going to have, she's so busy right now. And I was like, you're going to have to work us in. People I, love you. <laughs> I tried my best to get you in. I mean, this is a Sunday afternoon, my only day off. So I was like, okay, we're, we're going to get it in somehow. So. Yeah. So if you're the one that wanted this video, you better comment and show Rachel all the love. Yeah. And I'm going to put her Facebook page, Instagram, all that down below. So you can go follow her over there. So if you love Rachel, you better do all the things because she worked out um, for us to come see her. Thanks. So we, thank I, you, Rachel. Thank you, guys. I yes, really appreciate thank you. it. So I still have my door. I mean, it's kind of really the same as what I had before. I think I just stuck some flowers in and the hello. I've got my plants that I've had for a while. We've never seen your house for springtime. We've seen it for fall and Christmas. That's but true. do you do summer too or is it basically just It's going to be pretty much the same. I might change out some of the real springy stuff. Uh huh. But for the most part, it's going to stay like this because I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have time to do anything. And then this beautiful wreath. Where did you get that? That came from Parkland's. It pops on this front door. Yes, it does. I love the natural front door. Yeah, that's about the color that we're going to try to do ours. I just love that color. Mm -hmm. It needs sanding again, but it, it looks but good. But it, it'll look good when it's sanded again. And then some, are these Cosmos? Yes. I was about to say Zinnias, but these are so pretty. I forgot how pretty Cosmos were. I found them at Walmart and I said, you know what? I'm going to stick that in there. All right, let's go on inside. Okay. So in here, um, the fence I think was there for Christmas. Was it not? Was it there for fall too? No, it Maybe. used to be behind the couch. It used to be behind the couch. Yeah. Yeah, so I decided to just put it in here because I changed up behind the couch. And, um just hung some blankets and scarves and oh this is so things. cute too those look real yes those came from michael's believe it or not and they have some really good greenery things because i'm not i'm not big on fake flowers yeah because i love real flowers but i thought those looked really good yeah that's how i am i'm very picky and then the um chalkboard i found that at memories i believe and um Prattville. Prattville I've you. taken y'all there before. It has really changed up in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful there. Yeah. So I just decided to ride on that. I told Rachel too, my y'all are gonna hear it, so I'm gonna have to tell y'all. I have on like these slicky pants here. Y'all are gonna hear that in there and I apologize. I'm trying to not walk with them sounding like that. But that's what that noise is. Okay, this is going into her living room. I think this is may have changed up some. Well, definitely behind the couch, I think. Oh, yeah. I can't even, I can't remember what we had last, but... Um, I know, I like going back and watching your videos before I come or start editing to kind of see everything that has changed. I did take the doors off of this. I think I had doors on it. I think so, and too. I just decided I wanted to be able to see it more, and I'm working on getting some old, well, not necessarily old, but just some quilts and different things to fill it up with. I like how you added these, too. Yes. Can you get those off of Amazon? Oh uh, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. And I spot something that I am like obsessed with. Where'd you get the that? The pillow? Yeah. I got it off of, I think, Etsy like a year or two ago. I love that. And then over here, so she does, a, I guess her style is like total shabby chic, isn't it? It's, or farmhouse -y. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just a mixture, really. I mean, it's just, I love to mix old and new together, for sure. And, obviously, a lot of white. And it looks so clean and crisp in here all the time. And people ask me, how do you live in that house? It's really, I don't have little kids anymore. So, yeah. it's not that hard when you don't have little kids. Yeah, that's what people always ask me, but, and I'm with you, I don't have kids either, so it's not. Yeah. If I had little hands, it would be. Yeah. A lot different. Oh, my goodness. This is absolutely stunning. The coffee table is, is my 
pride and joy. Wait, is this the one that you've redone yes. we've been talking about? Yes, this is so the we one finally get to done. see it. Yes. So it was um, a dark stain. I mean, that's all original hardware. I put casters on it. And then um, the top was missing this inset. So mm -hmm. I got my husband to put pallet wood. I just got some old pallet wood and just Well, it is perfect. You didn't stain this? No. Let me ask you something. How I did wish. you strip this down? Okay, so I used um, oven cleaner. Okay, so that works. I've been seeing mm -hmm. everybody do that way. I haven't yes, tried it yet. Yes, oven cleaner. Yep, I'm stripping it down. It took several. It didn't take many times for the drawers, but uh -huh. it took several times for this because it has like a reddish yeah. I don't know. It has like a reddish color to it. So it took several tr times trying to bleach that out. Wait, what is this? That is where we were featured um, at Pepper Place. Oh my gosh. That's my husband. And um, it was it was a book that was made, um, was published, and um, they put several different farmers in there. And this is there. so sweet. Yeah. And we this is our peaches on the other oh my gosh rachel page. this is a dream <laughs> i love this that is so That's sweet I, I keep this book out a good bit I'll, I'll i don't always keep it open but um well, how do you have that like that hmm? did you, i was at i covered i covered him up oh gotcha <laughs> she covered him up <laughs> he didn't like it because it the way it made him look older because of the type of filter yeah it, it's, it's like saturated it's like really sa yeah it's really yeah because it made everything look really old yeah and um he was like well that made me look really old I said, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then this i don't know we'll see i'm going to try to pick my favorite but i don't think i'm going to pick a favorite over all of this this is so pretty and i left the bunnies is after easter but it's still spring to me oh yeah and so i'll change it for summer but i'll probably leave the globes, I'll just put something else inside there besides the rabbits. Yeah, I'm not a big like rabbit and duck decorate for like Easter, but I love this. Like yeah. I would keep that up. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. really pretty. And then back here we have some birds. She had re redone this piece too. We have talked about that before in her other videos. I'll try to link those down in the description box. Um, y'all help remind me because y'all know I'm terrible about that. But we'll try to do her fall and Christmas too so you can kind of see how everything's changed up. I do remember this mirror was back here, although for it Christmas. Have, it, that may have been all then. I don't know about Christmas. everything, but I know I the mean, mirror was. I think the door and the mirror was there. And then I think I just changed it around for spring. So we were talking about these tulips. She got them at Vintage Market Days. I have seen them at Kirkland's. I've seen them at antique stores. And you can get them off of Amazon. But they're like a rubbery texture, so they look real. And these are a definite, they have all kind of colors, but I see Rachel's only use white. That's the ones that I choose. They just look clean and they're so pretty. Yeah, they're really soft feeling. And yeah, they look just like a tulip. Mm -hmm. they do. And then over here's her fireplace. And I used to have that farmhouse sign. Yeah. I, I've had that for years and I just can't seem to get rid of it. I don't know. It just, it works up there. Yeah, it's so and, pretty. And then I just had some spindles old spindles and old candlesticks and i just kind of did a conglomeration my mom copied rachel is it just this living room paint uh yeah well the whole living the whole, area okay yeah so none of the bedrooms but yeah all of the living area is this color and what color is it because everybody was asking sculptor clay yeah we had to tell a lot of y'all about my mom's house color that she chose and we asked rachel what hers were so this, oh, that's cute. Was that here last time no, at that table? That's new. That came from uh, an antique store in, I believe it's over in Georgia. That is precious. I mean, it is old and beat up. <laughs> I mean, really Look old Look at and the beat legs up. on this. Yeah, but I just, I love it. And it's small because this, it needs, a, I need a small table in here because it's tight. So I just, I loved it. Y'all stick around because we have something outside that is going to, Blow you away. <laughs> and so, fake flowers again from Michaels. But yeah, those look really good. But they still, you know. Yeah, they definitely look real. Especially, I love the like little textured ones, like the mm -hmm. rubbery ones. Mm -hmm. They look really good. Oh, look at her cute light fixture. That's an old fixture. I just took, I think it had old ugly oh, globes on it. And I just took the globes off and then I just added that to it. And then swung it over to hang it because it was originally 
in the middle. That is so cute. Very creative. I think we were talking about you being creative on the other one. You said you weren't crafty and then we started <laughs> saying all the other things. And then this, I was excited to see this little area. I see some pictures that I'm obsessing over right now. Yeah, the nest pictures. Yes. Yeah, those are cute too. I think that I got those from a, um, I think, you know, I don't remember where I got those. It may have been from a antique store. I've had a lot of people ask me recently about my Ray Dunn. Um, everybody's kind of acting like they're kind of getting rid of it Outdated. and stuff. Yes, but I love it still. I love the way that you and Kayla Friday do it. Yeah, I mean, I, I still... I don't think it's it. outdated. I think it's just people got tired of the huge collection of it. Yeah, I mean, I don't have... I'm not really getting any more. I try to swap out a few things for different seasons, but uh -huh. other than that, I don't get a ton of it. But it's just so stinking cute. I love this. Like the... Yeah, the cute chick yes, and the early, the early bird. bird. Really mm -hmm. cute, and I love this little honey and yes. queen bee. Yes, really cute. And then, drum roll, because I know something y'all don't know. She got a new kitchen makeover. Hey, you know, tell them all about it. So, oh my gosh, this is my first time seeing it. I don't even look through the camera, I want to see it with my eyes. <laughs> so, it was a lot darker and kind of gloomy, and I had cabinets over the the bar and I was so sick of those cabinets over the bar and so now it is open and cheery and I love it. I mean it wasn't like a t complete overhaul but it kind of looks like it was. Yeah. Gosh it is incredible and I'm loving these. Yes. Yeah and so far they have been. What is this? It's, it's so a block, smooth. But it's such a block but it's got a sealer on it. Yeah. For food. So it's easy to clean, easy to clean. Super smooth, look at that little bench. Did you make that? I did, but I've had that for years. Wait, do you make this stuff or does Scott make I this will, stuff? I will, I will put it like together and say, I want it like this is, like uh -huh. I'll get the boards and certain things and if he has to help me nail it together or whatever, I'll help me put it together. Gotcha. Um, these are real. I had to take a yes. few looks at these. I was yes. like, are those fake? So I had pretty. to have some real flowers. Yes. Somewhere. Oh my gosh, I just love it in this. That is so pretty. And then, obsessed with these still. I have these um, saved because she sent me the link. Yes. And I will. Yes. And it's Burke's, it's Burke's Decor. I don't think it's the same thing as Burke's Outlet. I think it's something different. Yeah, I think it is too. And they're called Bonbon bon Jars. All the stuff on the shelves, most of it I already had. Um, I, it was already here. You just couldn't see it. That's good because it was in those cabinets. Um, so very little of it is new. It's just rearranged. And before I had a, the egg chair <clears throat> in here, the big egg chair. So I decided to do, I wanted it to be cohesive with the kitchen. And so I'm going to, my plans are to get, find an old piece, furniture piece. Because this is, just came from Kirkland's and I painted it white. But I want a really nice old piece that has some character to it. Mm -hmm. A little bit wider so I can do a little more decoration. Um, I just hadn't found the perfect piece yet, but I've been on the lookout, so hopefully I'll find one to, that'll work in the space. I think this is so cute. Now, your coffee bar used to be That's over right. there. Yes, it used to be over there. Was it too tight or something? It was. It was tight there. Um, and I think the the chalkboard is enough. It doesn't yeah. need anything else there. So, yeah. Um, so that's why I wanted to bring it over here. These little pendant lights change, or did they stay the they same? They stay the same, but for some reason, people have noticed them more. They um, pop more. They pop more, but it's just old Minna um, cages that I got out of the barn, and I just stuck them on the lights. What? Literally. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> I thought you bought them like no, that. No, everybody thought I bought them All like right, that. All right, let's get up. No, the pendant, on that. the pendant was there, and so it had an old, ugly globe on it. I took the globe off, and that's just. It's just a minute bucket sitting oh my on gosh. there. And now I've got it. Have we talked about this before? I can't remember. I don't remember it. either. I can't remember everything because it's like everything catches my eye here. Okay, what about this? Did you have this or is this new? Okay, oh, yeah, this is new. This is the new farmhouse thing, which I love. And this faucet came from Amazon, believe it or not. I got all of my faucets and, and everything like, from Amazon. I couldn't believe that. I did not even know that was possible. Yeah. And still, until I started looking for a faucet, and I couldn't find what I wanted at like Lowe's and mm -hmm. Home Depot and different places. And and I saw this one, and I was like, please be good when I get got it to come in. Yeah. And it is because it's like heavy. Yeah. It's heavy, real metal. Yeah, I got a lot of my light fixtures and faucets off of Amazon, and they're very affordable, too. Very affordable. I think it was like $200-something yeah. for, for that faucet. 
that, that one is stunning. I love this too. I think mine that I'm getting is like this. Because mm -hmm. the one I used to have was the um, stainless steel. And yes. I wanted the white. And I need a tray like this in mine that too. That came with it. I all love that. All the board and everything came with what? it. What? Yeah, it all came with it. It's at Home Depot. Yeah. Okay, now I'm a little upset. I need to talk to my cabinet guy because I want this one. I love that one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know which one he's ordering me. Maybe he hasn't yet. I can tell him I want this one. Maybe he can make that work. We'll see. Yeah. And then her little treats over here. Okay, the cabinets were the same. You just, did you repaint them or no? I touched them up. They were already okay. painted white. I just touched them back up because they needed a fresh coat. I mean, look at those strawberries. Everybody is obsessed with her strawberries. They are sweet. And I got the, the lemon cake. No, I didn't make it. I got it from Walmart. <laughs> But I'm telling you, I found out this is this is why this outfit is so tight on me. <laughs> because the pound cake, you take a bite of the pound, I mean the lemon cake, and then you take a bite of the sweet strawberries. It is amazing. I was honestly thinking having those together would yes, be delicious. It is very and good. like some coconut whipped cream. Have you ever tried the coconut whipped cream no, from uh -uh. Trader Joe's? It no, is delicious. I, I don't. I don't even know if I've been in Trader Joe's. What? I know that's okay, good. and then this is precious. Courtney did that. My daughter. That is so pretty. Did y'all make a TikTok of this or something? Yes, we did. Do you so you have a TikTok? So we well, can get people to I follow. I do. You? Ha well, Pitten Farms has a TikTok. Actually, okay. I did a reel on Instagram. Okay. I, I take it back. I don't know that it was TikTok, but Pitten Farms does have a TikTok. So I need to link all that then. Followers. <laughs> okay. So if you're a TikToker, go follow Rachel over there. I'll link all the things that you can um, follow her on, so you can definitely go stalk everything yeah. she does. And then this is her office. I changed it because the desk was originally against the wall here. And so I moved it because I didn't think I wanted it in front of the window, but I like it in front of the window. Yeah, that it's like really nice to sit here and have the mm -hmm. light come in. Do you actually yes. sit here and work? Scott does all the. Oh, gotcha. Meals, so I don't have to. Well, that's nice. <laughs> I'm at the strawberry patch all day. So. <laughs> Different. It's the same. <laughs> so this goes all the way around the circle. So now yes. this goes to her, her son's room, yes. and he doesn't live here anymore. That's got to be Magnolia, the hearth and Yes. Hand. Yes. The yes. Oh my goodness, I love that. Mm -hmm. I had it originally the other way on his bed. Uh huh. But I took it off and put white, just a white bedspread on, and then I thought, well, you know what? I thought that was still cute. I still like it, so I just used the reverse side of it because it's. I think it's reversible. If it's not reversible, I'm using it. As oh, it gotcha. I love that. The little um, black touches on it mm -hmm. is so pretty. I'm obsessed with these ducks, too. I bought one from Kayla Friday's booth to hang on the wall. Uh-huh. Oh, what is up with these ducks? Why are we so obsessed I with know. these? I, I didn't think I would like them, but I did. I, they were at Memories as well, and I was just grabbed them. The books and all. Was, oh, gosh, I, I love the them. Those are some old books, too. They are. Crocs. I like the Crocs. Yes. These are so pretty. I love the one that has your daisies in it, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one was the, I think that's the newest one. Okay, we're going to try and not make y'all dizzy and let y'all see what's on this wall. I added curtains. I didn't have curtains. Oh, you didn't? I'm, I'm not a big curtain fan. I'm not either. But, I don't know. I just decided to add it to his room. Well, I say that I'm not in some rooms. I'm not. Yeah. My mom and I were trying to play around what we wanted to do with her curtains. Yeah, I don't I don't think I only have them in the bedrooms. A couple of bedrooms and that's it. And then y'all have already seen where they redid the bathroom. Yeah. How many tours have we done? Three or four? Mm -hmm. The very first one, the bathroom was totally different. I feel like we've done two Christmases. Yes, right. We've done three. So we've done two Christmases in one fall. And so this is the fourth time coming back. Yeah. Bathroom is pretty much the same, except I guess for Christmas I had Christmas, Christmas touches in here, but I think I added the stool. I think people like seeing though what to do in the in-betweens of the seasons, and it's just, she just adds a lot of white touches mm -hmm. and some pops of green. Yep. I love the chip lap. I do too. And then, oh this is cute, this little nook area. Mm -hmm. That is cute. Alright, then we'll go this way. And this is going into her daughter's room, which her daughter just graduated. Yes. And we were there to see her because my sister-in-law Addison's fiance graduated um, that same day. What did uh, she? Yeah, what was her degree? Um, it was in R, um, HR and then a minor in marketing. Okay. And she had like a bunch of stuff. They didn't, they didn't put it on there. Like she had the highest 
highest honors and all sorts of things, and they didn't mention it, and I was not happy about it. Oh, that. my goodness. Like, why? My gosh, there were so many people in that. There was a yes. ton of people. Y'all be sure to congratulate <laughs> Courtney and then my brother-in-law, Dylan, and his cousin, Jacob. They all graduated. I'm sure. Oh, my gosh, this is cute. Does that light up? It does. My, my daughter got that for me, um, and it lights up, but it kind of lights up a little bluish bluish color. Oh, gotcha. I thought there was a switch right there. That's really cute. <laughs> you know, I kind of get behind the bed to light it up. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. But this has kind of changed up, I think, a good bit from the last one. Um, the mirror was new. Oh, you were looking for a new mirror I was looking here. for a new mirror. It, that's not what I was actually looking for, but I ended up I ended up really liking it. And then I, it was too short when I got it in here. And I was like, oh no, it's too short. But then I just stuck it on top of the stool. Yeah. Do the master bedroom money pillow i couldn't take it away either he's going away eventually but where'd you get it target target mm -hmm. see that kind of stuff i would think came from like a vintage mm -mm. little store and, and that the, beautiful the chandelier room, yeah the chandelier I still love that. you know what i know that's been here but i've just now realized that i'm guessing y'all don't hit y'all's head on that it, it's happened. We've learned. <laughs> We've learned that where it's at. Uh huh. Be careful. <laughs> and like whenever you move your pillows around it, not because we Drew and I have things on the back of our headboard, and if we move our pillows around, we've hit the, hit right. that before. Mm -hmm. And it's fell before because it's so heavy. Oh it ended gosh. up bending the chain and fell. But thank goodness nothing broke. Um, and then and everything <laughs> just it went back together. I bet that scared y'all to death. It did. It scared me to death. And then I have never noticed the TV being in the wall like yeah, that. Yeah, and we never use it. I wish it was not there. We never use it. That's there. nice, though, how it's... In, it's yeah, a, it's, yeah, I mean, we... Mm -hmm. it, but it's never used. Because <laughs> the they work so hard when it's reason, bedtime, it's bedtime. The reason why that bumps out like that, that's Courtney's closet. Because originally, when we had... Before we had Courtney, that room, that's Courtney's room, uh -huh. the playroom... Oh, okay. It was never meant to be a bedroom. Gotcha. Well, she had to have a closet, so we bumped. That's the reason why it's a little tight in the bedroom. Is gotcha. Because that whole thing was bumped out to make her closet. Oh, well, that makes sense. I can see so that it's now. Tight. Yeah, it's yeah. tight. But it is what it is. So, you didn't have a three-bedroom house? Mm-mm. That was a, just a playroom. Oh, okay. Play room. Did y'all build this house or buy it? Yeah, we built it. Okay. And some more of those little tulips right here. These look a little bit different. They are. Because they're opened different. up. I think I've had them for a while and I don't remember where they came from. And then the clock. I know I talk about that every time, but yeah. I just love that clock. It fits so perfectly into your decor. <laughs> oh, that mirror too is catching my eye. I really like it. Yeah, I, I found just different. That one was originally just like this. I didn't do anything to this one. This one was white and I sanded it as hard as I could to get most of the natural. And then this one I did the oven cleaner to get it lighter because it was a darker color. Yeah, I love those. To layer them together. I like the layered look now. And then her beautiful mirror. And then we'll go to her bathroom too. And she always says her bathroom looks different because she did this one first. But it is so pretty. Yeah, it's I'm, kind I of more gonna, of a modern look maybe. It does. It has a little different vibe to it. But I am going to paint it white because it's actually got gray walls and I have Nothing gray left in my house. Uh huh. So I'm probably going to paint the gray walls and then maybe if my husband doesn't kill me, I may paint the pet cabinet oh white. My gosh, my dad would have a fit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Anybody who has, yeah, the cabinets, they would. Yeah. I've never noticed the backsplash in here. That's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably keep the gray because there's a lot of gray tile in here. I can't yeah. think about that. And I still like it, but. Yeah, it's very pretty. Yeah, but I think I just want to definitely do white walls. I love the opening into the shower and the little getting naked. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just obsessed with the shower. It's so pretty. I mean, it feels like you're in a spa. Yeah, and that was the best thing I could have done was do that big shower. It's wonderful. And then we always show off our closet too because it's just extraordinary. The washer and dryer in here. I mean, this is just fabulous. This is definitely glam. Yeah. This is a glam look. This is your look. Holly. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I love this. It's so pretty. I feel like this is very Carrie Bradshaw. <laughs> <laughs> She's I a agree. Carrie Bradshaw of Jilton County. <laughs> I agree. Well, not that. Not about that. But yeah. Very <laughs> her, her style. Yeah. Her style in the closet. Okay, this is their basement. 
You would not know that it was a basement because how she has it styled. It is so gorgeous. I love the floors down here. Mm -hmm. uh, they, and they're just the vinyl. They're not real, and, and they look real. And that sweet little cow. So let me ask you this. It looks pretty down here like all this stuff is, but I'm just know how I am. Is this all the stuff that you still love that you don't want to put it upstairs? Basically. Yep, that's what I do. The couch got moved downstairs. The because bed. you never come down here. And yeah, stuff pretty well, it kind of graduates to down here. Uh -huh. Most of it. So it's it probably much. comes down here first and then graduates yeah. to somebody else's home. <laughs> Except for the piano. The piano and the bench. I mean, those. I love those. And I would have put them up there, but there's no room up there, so... And everything is like so stunning and pretty down here. I just know how I am whenever I'm decorating in a space that I'm not living in all the time. It's where I do the same thing. Right, yeah. Oh goodness, I just love this. So gorgeous. I can't wait to get my little radio back out. I was watching uh, some of my spring home tours this morning while I was laying in the bed and I started seeing all these things in my house and I was like, I hope I didn't sell that. I hope I didn't sell that. <laughs> like I had a record player that I loved and uh, yes. I'm pretty sure I sold it. I, oh no. Yeah. So I I've was been like. I hunt for a record player like that. Yes. I love one, but I haven't been able to find one that I really like. <sighs> yep. And I'm pretty sure I sold it. This is gorgeous. This, this is, is new. new. This is new and it was like only, I think it was less than $500. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's like a for real pie hutch, it right? It is a real pie hutch and, that, and love it did you strip it down or was it like no this? It, i have not done a thing what to it. i haven't done a thing to it that I'm is absolutely like that. gorgeous and that was another um antique place in georgia i wish i can remember the name of it high cotton maybe i forget but there was a couple of really good stores that i hit in georgia back in the winter time Somebody asked me, how do you have time to shop for all this stuff? I was like, I'm pretty sure when she just goes somewhere, she buys a whole bunch of stuff that she sees that she loves. I do, and it's only in like the dead of winter when I get to really go shopping much because like now, I like literally Sunday is the only day I have off. And, and then usually it's church and then go eat with the family uh -huh. and then I come back and I crash. Yes, rest before <laughs> the rest week. Rest before Monday. Yes. All right, we have one more spot that we want to take y'all. And this is the moment you're all going to be waiting for. Okay, I literally have chill bumps as I'm standing on her back porch. It might be because of the wind, Holly. Yeah, no, I do. Like, it is so breathtaking out here. It's so beautiful. And it feels so good, too. It does, And it always feels really good right here. I don't know. It's I guess it's kind of blocked in. And I don't know. I, but I sit out here, I mean, as much as possible. Yeah, I would too. I wouldn't want to go inside. Mm -hmm. And we're finally doing a big back porch area, and we have wanted that our whole lives. And um, I wanted this bed swing. They're real popular. Rachel's make hers look so inviting. And I didn't know where to put it on my back porch, and Addison found me a spot, and I am so excited. Oh, so I'll be getting all the inspiration from how she styles hers. You'll love it. You'll love it. So nice. This is adorable. Yes, I got that from the Vintage Market Days as well, and I painted it. So and Because it was just kind of the silver color i uh -huh. painted it and then started sanding in it and found out you're not supposed to sand metal i got my husband come running up here and uh -huh. says stop <laughs> so don't sand the metal guys you're why not to, i guess the metal is supposed to can get in your lungs I oh guess. gosh so I'm yeah like, oh yeah that makes sense i wasn't smart enough oh to my gosh that. yeah what did this used to be it's an old wash tub like that's what I thought. Old -timey wash tubs, yeah. But it looks like too it could have been like where it held your laundry, but then I saw the um little holes in it. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'll probably put flowers or I may find a top to go on it. I haven't figured out exactly what I'm gonna mm -hmm. use it for. I can so. see your big old mums in that for yeah, mums for yes, I already had that <laughs> And then all the little plants I'm gonna wanna to touch all of them. Here on my oh <laughs> or something did, didn't it? It and was clean. is that little area new? It was there, but I didn't have it decorated. Okay, we'll walk over there too. I love these little asparagus ferns. That's ponytail ferns. Ponytail. Okay, yeah, mine is a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Did you have asparagus? Asparagus on the front. front okay, yeah. yeah. So this is a ponytail. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've never heard of this one. This one's adorable. I love these. I love them. And this this lasted from last year. I love and it. And so did the one on the other side. So I saw the, it might have been this one. I have a picture, but I thought it was the asparagus. But I have one from Disney World. I took a picture. Everywhere I go, if I see a plant that I like, I take a picture. And I'm like, I got to go get me one for my house. Here's another little one. 
the sun is shining on all of this. This was inside where the coffee bar was. <laughs> and then right here, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I love these so much. I've never had a little herb garden before and I decided I wanted to put something on this table because this is like an old, I wanted an old table. And I thought, well, you know what? I'm gonna just put a little herb garden there. Where did you get these little tags? Target. Those are stinking cute. Was it like a Target line or the Magnolia? It looks Magnolia like, line. I, you can just tell when it's her stuff. Yeah, I mean, I pretty much go straight to the Magnolia yeah. line. <laughs> okay, we're going to back up and then y'all can... Oh, wait, hold on. There's too many pretty white flowers here. Okay, this is definitely something I want to do at my house is just the green and white because I just love the green and white. I like color too, but there's just something that makes yeah. my heart happy about green and white. And those geraniums, they do so well in the heat right there. Uh -huh. They grow Yeah, those are big. Right there. And then we have some over here, too. I mean, this is just precious. Oops. The shadow. I love that little gerber daisy. That's what that is, right? I just planted him, and he's he needs a little fertilizer because he's a little yellow. But he's I think he'll be happy in the end. He looks and so I've got pretty. Clematis planted on each side of these poles, a white clematis. Oh, my gosh. So to grow up they'll grow it. up on each side of the pole. That's going to be Hopefully. so. Hopefully. I've never been able to do real well with clematis because they need their feet the shade and uh -huh. the head in the sun. Oh, okay. So, well, you uh, did a good spot for So, they're in the shade. There's yeah. the feet in the shade, and it should grow up to the sun. So we'll They've already it. got some blooms on them. Yeah, they had really pretty blooms, but the rain knocked it oh, off. Oh, knocked it off. Mm -hmm. And it rained today. That's probably what did it, right? Mm -hmm. And then, look! We actually get to go inside, which I think we went inside last time, yeah, but... but... it wasn't... I didn't have... It's got a lot more done to it. So, we're going to walk out there and see what she's doing. Her little she shed... The, I think the awning came from uh, Market Days as well. That is so pretty. Then I just got um, one of my guys, one of our helpers, to make the flower box for me. And I love Spanish lavender too. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait. What is this, that? This is a hot. This is a hot limelight. Okay. And then mandevillas. Mandevillas. Mm -hmm. Does it, it's going to crawl up this? Yes, it'll crawl up that. And I need to train it. It's still okay. I've never heard way. of this one before. Is so one mm -hmm. I've seen it, but I've never heard of it. Okay. Like I don't know how to explain it. I've seen this flower before, but I didn't know what it was. Yeah, it I comes didn't in like red and pink. And that is so one. pretty. Where do you get all your plants? Different places. Loads. Okay. I mean, just anywhere. Walmart. I'm obsessed with Spanish lavender. It stays year round. It'll stay evergreen. And then in the spring and summer, all year long, it puts out a show with these. Mm -hmm. And this is such an easy plant that to take care so of. Good. And butterflies are always on yes. it. This is sweet. Like, I'm just taking this moment because it's so pretty. Look at the granddaddy long leg. Oh my gosh. It ruined it. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. Okay. It's kind of hot in here because there's no power in here, so... And if you follow Rachel on all of her little social media, then you already get sneak peeks of all of this. Like, I've seen this in pictures, but not in person. And so, if you are inspired by all of this, you've got to go follow her. Because she pretty much posts a good bit. She's good at keeping up with things on I'm her. To post one yes. Thing. And this is so cute. I know this. I don't know. Either your back porch or this would be my favorite place. I'm thinking probably back porch, though, because you, you can get that breeze in yes, there. Yes, yes. Uh, hopefully, I'm, I'm planning on getting power. I'm going to do a chandelier oh, nice. in the middle. So, hopefully, I'll get power pretty soon. I'm obsessed with this. Yes, yeah, so that came from Vintage Market Days. I'm telling you, Vintage Market Days, both in Birmingham and Mobile, was awesome. I've never been to the Mobile one, but I've taken y'all with me to the Birmingham one a lot. They have really cute stuff. I know this used to be... That used to be downstairs. Yes, I remember mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Because you said... Everybody was like, why do you want that? Yeah. You didn't yeah, do anything to it. Crazy. <laughs> this is so pretty. The little garden tools are even pretty. Mm -hmm. Made the flower market sign when my daughter painted it oh, for me. Oh, cute. And then I just roughed it up after she painted it. I took dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I just wiped it all on there to make it look old and dirty. <laughs> yeah, you can just go out. If you have a little burn pile, go out there and just start making stuff. Yeah. But this, this is has been, so cute. this has been so handy, this pot and table. Uh -huh. I mean, I've been using this a lot. This is so sweet. Look at all the little seed packets, too. Do you use these or are they? They're just, they're just mainly for looks because I probably won't plant yeah. them. Yeah. 
I had bought some for looks too. But um, I wish I could find some old ones, but I haven't. Oh yeah, I have, like really like vintage ones, mm -hmm. but I hadn't found any, and I just don't have time to shop right now. So it's just thought I grabbed them at Walmart. This is such a good idea too, where you don't have the bags everywhere. Yeah, I mean it's it's really handy. You're not supposed to leave dirt open. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that either till a little while back. But you're supposed to leave it closed up. I, uh -huh. I guess I don't know why, but. It's a lot handier. Like yeah, <laughs> definitely. And you probably use it so fast, too. Yeah, I use it a lot, too, so. And her pretty little rug in here. With the Amazon. I love that. So, this space, I've had this table for years, and I plan on redoing it. Um, hopefully pa pa painting it white and maybe changing out the chairs to some old chairs that just to kind of give it a little bit of a some character i guess is what i'm trying yeah. to say maybe some kind of match the rest of match your vibe the rest too of my vibe that i have going on because this even though th i mean this is really nice and it is held up great yeah i've already called dibs on these too yeah. by the way yeah. so, <laughs> so let me know when they get gone because i love these <laughs> yeah it, it's held up great it just don't quite go with the rest of my vibe yeah I have going and then just i just found that old box and stuck some plates in it Let's back up and tell them what your plans are for this little space, too. Oh, yeah. So, if they have a space like this, they could visualize and they might want to work on that project. So, I'm going to put a pergola across, hopefully. I guess we can make this work. Tie it in on the top and then put some more um, hanging lights from there. And maybe even a shade. What do you call those things? The, oh, yeah, like the, the cloth. That yes. Goes, yeah. To actually shade it because I can't use this space because it gets unbelievably hot right there. Um, but I want to be able to use the space, so hopefully I can shade it a little bit. Yeah, that'll be a great it'll idea. All, it'll be all together. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. And I've never noticed this space back here. Yeah, it's... It, it, the table's been there. Never. The rug is actually... I'm bleaching the rug. I'm, I'm actually oh, gotcha. it out to get it to bleach so it's not so yeah. colorful. Uh-huh. Um, and it's working. It was brighter than that. Where are you going to put that? I, well, I'll probably put it under the table. Okay. Um, but I'm just leaving it out right now so it'll bleach out. The sun will bleach it out. Gotcha. And then it just connects to back here. So I'm excited to see. Do you think you're going to have that project done fast? Or is that just something in the... Maybe over throughout the summer, maybe. Gotcha. Hopefully. When I got... After strawberry season, for sure. I don't have time to do anything. After, after strawberry and before and pumpkin. Before pumpkin. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, beyond the garden here, this is the garden, some of the garden that we have, just a little piece. But beyond that back there is our strawberry patch and that's just actually you can only see maybe half of the field because it's on a hill so on the other side of that building is a whole there's 200,000 plants oh my gosh uh, about 15 acres of just strawberries and we're usually there um, April and May Monday through Saturday so you pick and pre-pick yeah come pick some strawberries um, you can come out and take really great Instagrammable pictures with um, picking the strawberries in between the rows with the strawberries and with your bucket of berries red berries I mean the red and the green yeah I mean it can make some really nice pictures 